Hello everybody, this is Eric Romero with York Castle Real Estate. Today I'm here to talk to you about why if you are a home buyer, it might not be a good strategy to wait. Um, the cost of waiting can be huge. Here's an example of our inventory levels right now in the Denver market. You can see we have 5,717 active listings on the market right now. That's a single family condo townhome. Uh, and you can see we have 5,397 currently under contract, which means at that rate of absorption, we only have about a month's worth of inventory, which is considered an extremely low level of inventory. Four months is considered balanced, meaning buyer and seller have about an equal advantage. Uh, this is definitely leaning towards advantage seller. So buyers are many times telling me they're waiting for interest rates to go down. That's what That's what's keeping them out of the market. If you look at where we are today, we're about six and a quarter percent. Uh, historically, if you go back about 50 years, the average is about seven and three quarters. Uh, thankfully, we have not been there for a long time, but six and a quarter is uh, considered traditionally still not terrible, better, not as good as three percent, clearly, uh, but it's it's not the worst it's ever been. And in order for the rates to go down, uh, we would probably need some sort of major economic problem like a pandemic, which is what caused the, the reduction last time. And you can look at this chart and see uh, a year ago, our average list price to sales price was 103%, 103.4 actually, which means that buyers were having to pay about 3.5% more than the list price to go under contract. So the cost of a lower interest rate is increased competition pushing prices up. And it was even worse in April. You can see when the interest rates increased last year because prices, list price to sales price started to decline. And if you were buying in the winter, you could uh, actually buy a property for one to 2% below less or below what it was listed for. Uh, we're now currently back up to 100%, which means everything's selling for pretty close to what it's listed for. Uh, historically in Denver, we see about 6% annual appreciation. Uh, it did slow down a little bit over the last few months because sales dropped. Uh, and you can see this big spike over the last few years. When interest rates were low, a lot of people got into the market because they could afford to buy more house than they would normally be able to. And that just pushed the prices way up. So we had a big jump over the last couple of years. Now it's sort of uh, leveled off. Uh, so if you're a buyer, you can actually buy right now, provided you can qualify for the higher payment. Uh, one of the questions I get is, hey, well, um, you know, when are we going to see a price drop? Here again, inventory levels are so low. And the last time we had a price drop was in 2008. And you can see the yellow line, which is the number of active listings at the time. The blue line is the number of sold transactions in those months. And you can see this big gap here. There were about seven homes for every one buyer. Sellers had to be a little more aggressive. Prices came down. And, uh, and that was what we saw in 2008. Well, here we are now in 2023. And you can see that just almost every home that hits the market sells. So sellers don't have to be overly aggressive to get their home sold. If anything, the buyers have to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, so that's that's another reason why I don't think wait, waiting is is a great strategy. Uh, Foreclosure is probably not going to save us. Uh, I pulled this off the internet today. Shows that in Colorado, one out of every 8,300 homes uh, went into foreclosure. Doesn't mean that there aren't people who are who are maybe pending foreclosure, but people who actually go through the process. It's a pretty low number, so we're not going to see enough of those to bump up the. Uh, the amount of inventory to bring prices down. And then uh, the next slide here shows that we're not going to build our way out of it either, because if you go all the way to the right over here, you can see building has actually decreased uh, over the last couple of years. And uh, actually, we're, we're down to, you know, 2014, 2015 levels on new construction. So we're not building enough homes to bring the inventory level up high enough to see any real reduction in prices. So I don't think Waiting for rates to go down is going to work too well. I don't think waiting for prices to go down is going to work too well uh, just because we don't have the inventory. So it's still a very competitive market out there if you're a buyer. Uh, the good news is you can buy if you're a buyer. It's not quite as crazy as it was last year. 
So anyway, that's what I have today. Hopefully you picked up a couple of good pieces of information. Uh, once again, this is Eric Romero at Your Castle Real Estate. Thanks for viewing.